Are we good? I'm enjoying this already. This is a nice soiree. Nice. I feel like if we were at a party, this is a gang I want to be part of. Yeah. I a little agree. canapé nibble, yeah. cigarette, blind, lovely, beautiful. <laughs> um, now, thank you for being here. Jamie, you yeah. are, you are, as we all are, a huge fan of Florence I and am, her magnificent yeah. ma machine. Yeah. Have you ever seen them live? Yes, I have. I was there. Uh, it was your first ever headline of a, a festival, at Latitude, about 2010, maybe? Yeah. And Florence was unbelievable. And then we all went to this. They have this uh, tent there called the Guilty Pleasures Tent. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, and yes. I, I, where you go and get your dance on to mm. stuff that isn't maybe deemed that cool. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and it was all going well, and everyone was sort of like, you know, inebriated and having fun. And then. Suddenly, everyone's attention turned to the stage because Florence had done her headline act and then come into the guilty pleasures. I don't pleasures. think I was invited. No, you I just think rocked you just up. Showed up. And what happened was you sang. Um, Did I sing you sang, as well? You, you sang along to um, uh, "You Got the Love." Um, oh. But then what happened was everyone. Really amazing, but actually, what happened was we were all like dancing, and then suddenly everyone stopped dancing and we're just watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you did. I feel like the headline show wasn't enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, do think, I don't remember any of this. You don't remember going to the guilty pleasures tent? <laughs> no. oh, yeah. Wow. Well, that's. Was I in an animal costume? Potentially. Yeah, Potentially. I remember that. I think I might have been uh, dressed as a lion. Yes, you were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This feels like we're trying to piece together a crime scene. <laughs> Hang on. Was anyone dressed like... Yes, that rings the bell. <laughs> now, Florence, we're all such huge fans. You have uh, the most brilliant and haunting and uh, an incredible voice. I'm interested, has your voice always sounded like that? Or did you... Have you had, like, formal power and range training? <laughs> Um, well, I did get singing. I did get singing lessons, and um, when I was about eleven, and she, but she was really interested in me becoming a classical singer because I could have been a soprano, and so I wanted to sing jazz and all sorts of stuff. But she kind of we were we were working on lots of opera stuff. Um, but she did say she was like, okay, so if you're going to be a professional singer, it's going to be. No smoking, no going out late, no talking loudly, no drink, no drugs. I was like, OK, see ya. <laughs> you used to be a bit of a singer yourself. You were in a band, right? You were in a band, but you, you were a proper band, weren't you? <laughs> uh, I could, uh, we bet, yeah. We had some nice moments, but uh, we weren't great. <laughs> what were you called? <laughs> we were called Sons of Jim. And there was just two of you in the band, right? And both their dads were called Jim. Both your dads were called Jim. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that sums it up. Yeah. That's, the, that's the end of that. <laughs> what sort of... What, 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 I can imagine you on stage. Yeah, we... we were you sort of stuff. moody or were you, like, into it? What was your persona? What was... <laughs> if I'm either of those two, I'm the former, I think. I, I, I hid behind a, a harmonica quite a lot. Of Ooh. <laughs> Terrible harmonica. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Florence, you, uh, you did lots of your... Early gigs, you came up around a time where you would do, you would do gigs quite near my first house in London, <laughs> near the near the Lock Tavern in yeah. Camden. Did a gig in the Lock Tavern. Yeah. yeah so what do you remember about that? Sons of Jim played the Lock, Lock Tavern. Tavern. Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jim, come on yeah. now. Yeah. Come on. Where was I? <laughs> That's a cool venue. It's a great yeah. venue. What do you remember about that time? Because I remember there was there was like a whole set of incredible artists came up through the same time all around that sort of area. There, there was actually, there was loads of gigs going on and always kind of club nights and you could basically play every night. There was always something happening. But I did do one gig on a Sunday night at the Lock Tavern where me, Kate Nash and Adele were all playing. Oh. Wow. Um, but, yeah, but it was a really small gig um, and, you know, just like a, a room at the top of yeah. a pub and that was the first time I ever heard Adele. I was on for, I think I was on... First, yeah, and my set kind of involved being very drunk and shouting, right? Um, yeah. And it's <laughs> cool. Um, cool. And then when that was done, <laughs> and I remember, you know, being at the bar, and then literally the voice of an angel, kind of from the back. I've never heard anything like it in my life. It, 
Her voice is so incredible. I always remember the first time I heard it. Adele? I thought you were talking about Orb Man. When I yeah, heard she's, Sons of Jim. Sorry, we were all... Yeah, yeah no, yeah. sorry, we were. We were talking about Sons of Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, that moody harmonica player, he was someone else. <laughs>